Hello and welcome to the video on Power BI. In this video, let us take a look at how we can build Python based visuals in Power BI. Let's start. So for the ease of time, I have already prepared the codes. I would like to start with showing you the data set that I'm going to use for this purpose. So if I go, if you see here, there is a diamond data set wherein I have the caret uh, information, the cut information, what is the color of the diamond, what is the clarity, what is the depth, what is the price and x, y, z are the dimensions uh, of the diamond. With, this is the data set that we are going to use for the purpose of building Python visuals. As you already knew, there are a large set of visuals present in Power BI which we can use as an inbuilt method. So basically the objective behind the Python and the R visuals are some visual which you would not be able to achieve using Power BI, you can certainly go for Python based visuals. But for the purpose of presenting you the Python based visuals, I'm just going to build some basic charts in Python based visuals. So to bring in the Python based visual, I first click on this PY option here in the other section. So once I click, I'm going to see here the at the start, this is how the coding pane is going to be, script editor is going to be. So to enable this script editor, we might have to first add information into this uh, visual. So for the purpose of this first demo, I am going to consider two columns. The columns are caret and price. So I will click on this visual, I am going to select caret and price. So once I click on this caret and price, I get to see that the data set is built here and I also see a drop duplicate. So this two, although they are commented uh, as per the design, they are going to be always executed. Uh, before proceeding with the coding, I just want to ensure that don't summarize is selected in my number column. So as I said earlier, I already have the code ready. I'm just going to copy and paste this code there. So the moment I copy and paste this here and run this, I am going to start seeing the visual here. But before that, I just want to take you through this code. So basically what we are doing here is import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So matplotlib is a library that is going to be used for performing the data visualizations in Python. And then we are defining the type of plot and what is the X column and the Y column and we are just giving the names to those columns and then we are using this plt.show to display the visual. So let me just comment this thing and show you. So basically if you are not going to use this plt.show your visual is not going to be rendered. So plt.show is certainly a requirement here. So for every visual you are going to use plt.show to display the visual. The other aspect that you should be aware of while building the power bi uh, building the python visuals in power bi is <coughs> so equivalent visuals are already uh, already available in power bi with better uh, ui facilities so you should always take a take an take a look into building the python based visuals if and only if you are not going to have that visual in power bi again there is also going to be some performance uh, based uh, considerations that have to be made while building the Python based visuals. The other important thing that you should always keep in mind is for performing Python coding inside Power BI to build visuals, you should be having a running version of Python in your system. So that's a prime requirement for performing this. Uh, basically all these packages that you are going to be importing here should already be installed in your running version of Python. So once that is installed, you can directly import the visuals here and then start building your visualizations. Now let me go and take this, try building the second visual. So for this visual, again, as I said earlier, this editor is going to be disabled as long as we import the columns. In this visual, what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider two columns. They are cut and price. So I click on this visual, import cut and price. So the same thing happens here. You, As you see, the data set has come. I'm going to check if there are any summarizations that are applied to this uh, column. So it doesn't don't summarize. Now I go here. I already have the code copied. So I'm just going to paste it here. 
and then I'm going to run this. So once I run this, whatever is the visual type that we are going to specify here, that's going to be displayed here. Again, plt.show is a must here because with plt.show is what the visuals are getting rendered. Now, going to the third visual that we are planning to build. Here we are going to build a histogram visual and basically we are going to consider only the caret plot. Only the caret as the column. So I am going to go back and select the Python visuals again. I will import the caret value, check for the summarizations and then I am just going to copy and paste this here. So from whatever you have seen as of now, all you can understand is it's pretty pretty straightforward. So whatever is the code that you are going to put inside uh, the Python environment, the same code is going to work here, no exceptions. Only requirement probably is the use of plt.show which is required always to display the visuals that you are going to have in your uh, display pin. Now, I'll go and build the next visual. So here, for this purpose, I'm going to consider the columns cut, price and color. So, so far, we have been using the matplotlib library. For But for this example, we are going to use a different library. And I'll show you once I import this. Cut, price and color are the columns that I'm going to import here. And I'm going to use a new library called Seaborn. Seaborn is basically a different library, but that is more like a wrapper on top of the matplotlib. So matplotlib gives you certain visuals, certain capabilities to build certain visuals. Seaborn has an additional capability of certain visuals which you don't have in matplotlib. Those visuals can be accessed from Seaborn. So in this case, I'm going to build a box plot. And for the box plot, I'm considering the columns cut, price, and color so here i'm just going to take out this color initially i don't want this i'm going to run this so when once i run this you will be seeing a box plot where the cut is going to be in the x-axis and the price is going to be in the y-axis so as i focus so you see the cut is in the x-axis and the price is in the y-axis now i'll bring the hue parameter here hue variable here so hue basically is more like the legend case so now what I'm trying to do is like split this cut based on color and show a box plot for price. So once I run this, this box plot is going to be processed and then you will be able to see the cut information split by color. But as you can see this, I've, I feel that this is kind of very clustered. So I just want to restrict the data. So the other fascinating thing is you can do whatever you want, you usually do in python so basically what i'm doing is for in this data set i'm going to consider this data set cut column and equating it to ideal so basically what i'm trying to do is like only filter down those rows where the cut column has an ideal value and return only the select only the cut column now i'm going to run this so the moment i run this this is going to be changed wherein it is going to be considering the filter of ideal. So now you see only the ideal information. So there is one more plot that would that I would want to show you. So for this I am going to do a new page and then importing a pipe plot visual. So there is something called pair plot. Basically the pair plot is going to give you comparison between all the numerical columns in a table but for this purpose first i need to bring in the columns so i am considering the columns caret clarity depth price x y and z so once i ex i open this and i am going to paste that code here so for this purpose, as you, as I told you earlier, this is going to consider all the numerical columns in a table. So I just, it is enough if I give the data set. Again, this pair plot is from the Seaborn library. So I'm importing the matplotlib library to show, to use for the plt.show and Seaborn library to, for the purpose of using the pair plot. Now, once I click on the execute, this code is going to be processed 
and it is going to return me a pair plot so so this is kind of a little heavy plot in this case uh, so it is going to take a couple of seconds to load but you will be seeing a pair plot uh, where the plot is going to give the distribution of values or the it is basically trying to project the relationship between the multiple numerical columns in the data set so as it loads so now this is loaded as you can see this is going to show different comparison between all the columns so i i, I would like to restrict this to couple few a few less columns so i'll just remove this x y and z and i'm going to reprocess this code so as i remove that x y and z and reprocess this code this plot is going to be rebuilt to show the relationship between only those columns that we are considering in this in this case so one more thing to note here is i also have this clarity column as part of my chart but if you see clarity is a is not a numerical column it's a it's a basically a categorical value so this this plot is not going to consider this clarity column for its purpose now the only three numerical columns that we have are caret depth and price so if you see here we have caret depth and price so caret to caret it's going to match with an histogram and depth with caret it's a scatter plot and price with caret is a scatter plot so as you can see the same column mapping is done using a histogram and the rest are all based on the scatter plot now going back to the page 3 where where i have four other visuals now one interesting thing to notice these python visuals that we have built so far are pretty much responding to how uh, the data would respond when you are going to build uh, or how the visuals would respond uh, respond when you are building it using power bi so for this purpose i i would also want to just go back to the initial plot wherein i am showing multiple cut information in the same plot now what i'm going to do is i'm going to include a slicer for cut now i have a slicer that is going to have the cut value once i apply this filter on the slicer all the python visuals are going to be filtered for the selection here so it is going to respond very very similarly to how a power bi visual would respond for the selections yeah that's all in this part of this tutorial if you like this video please like comment and subscribe for more similar videos